one. Now moving on to, I think probably the worst area of this phone, in my opinion, is probably the software. You know, the build quality of the cameras are great, but the software is the thing that I just think if LG knocked it out of the park, more people would buy it. And you look at a phone manufacturer like OnePlus, they don't have the best phones in the world. They're not like the most well-rounded devices, but their software is the thing that I think keeps them afloat for a majority of people, including me. Now with this phone, with LG's UI, it's just something I'm not really in love with. You know, I've used it for years. I used to own a G2 as my everyday device and I didn't like the software. You know, I switched over to a custom ROM and I can tell you with the V40, it's no different. You know, it just seems like LG's never really learned. They take a note, I think from Huawei and I don't know if they are collaborated with each other or whatever, but their softwares seem very similar in my opinion, very kind of, you know, different from stock Android. And it's almost like a different version of One UI. You know, it just, I don't really understand what they're trying to do, but it's doesn't really matter because they're not making phones anymore but it started off with android 8 it went all the way up to android 10 which i'm really happy to see but for the most part i mean it's what it is there's nothing we can do about it the software is you know pretty much outdated already not quite but within the next year by the time this video by the time you're watching this video it may already be outdated who knows but the software is one of those things that i'm not a huge fan of in my opinion on the same merit actually you know the battery life was one of those things too that wasn't really amazing a 3300 million power battery but the thing is is that when you have that big of a phone with that big of a screen and with this type of performance you're going to need like as big of a battery as possible now the 3300 million power it's not a small battery by any means but it definitely isn't like something you would brag about you know and at this time it, it's not like a crazy big battery in my opinion so especially with phones like a galaxy s9 plus that had bigger battery sizes at that year another pretty big note for sure and the galaxy s10 plus just came out like not even like four or five months after this device so take it as you will but that's pretty much how i would kind of sum up the probably one of the worst aspects of this phone now